Hey guys, it's Moo. Welcome to OP Quickie, where I try to teach you a champion in under three and a half. This time for Renekton top. Let's get into it. Renekton is an AD bruiser top laner with an insanely strong early game that can snowball out of control, but he also falls off very hard later into the game. Let's go over his abilities. His passive is, every auto attack, Renekton generates 5 fury. When you have 50 fury, it will empower your next basic ability. His abilities also generate fury. When Renekton is below 50% HP, he generates 50% bonus fury. His Q deals damage to all enemies nearby and heals, healing extra if he hits a champion. If it is empowered, it will heal and damage for more. His W is an auto attack reset that makes his next auto attack strike twice and stun. If it is empowered, he will strike three times and stun for longer. Next patch, it will also remove shields. His E lets him dash in a target direction, dealing damage. If it passes through an enemy, he can dash again. If it is empowered, his second dash will reduce armor for four seconds. His ultimate gives him bonus HP, attack range, and instantly generates 20 fury. For the next 15 seconds, he also deals bonus magic damage around him and generates five fury every second. For keystones, you should always go press the attack on Renekton. It has great synergy with his W, instantly proccing when it's empowered. You might be tempted to take Conqueror on this champion, but since the rune has been nerfed 60 million times, you shouldn't. Even if you're against Scion, PTA will still be useful early game versus him, and will be really useful against killing other squishy members later into the game. Follow it up with Triumph, Legend Tenacity, and Last Stand or Coupe de Gras. For secondary, take Resolve with Demolish and Bone Plating. Or if you want to play more aggressive, take Domination with either Sudden Impact or Taste for Blood and Ravenous Hunter. For your starting items, you should take Dorn's Blade always, since you'll want to play aggressive. For your first item, you should buy Spear of Shoujin, as it synergizes really well with your kit and lets you output loads of damage. After that, you'll want to buy Black Cleaver. Follow those two items up with a Guardian Angel. After that, you can choose between items like Sterax, Randuin, Spirit Visage, and Titanic Hydra. If you're going to pick up Titanic Hydra, make sure to purchase Tiamat early. It's great for shoving, and you can use your Tiamat active during your W to cancel its animation. For your skill order, you'll want to start W versus melee matchups, and then Q versus range matchups. Take E level 2, and then take whichever ability you didn't take level 3. You'll want to max Q first, followed by E, and then W last, taking a point in your ultimate whenever available. You'll want to play lane phase on Renekton very aggressive. Look for trades and all-ins as much as you can. You can very easily proc your press the attack by auto-attacking once and then resetting your auto with your W, or just using your empowered W. Try to land your empowered Q on as many minions and the enemy champion if possible for a huge heal. Generally, using your empowered E isn't too useful until later on in the game. I usually like to save my second E for whether or not I want to commit to the all-in or back up. Every time you use your ult, you'll want to all-in with it. If you get engaged on by your enemy top laner, you can usually turn it around with an ult or even 2v1. You can also really easily dive with your ult. Having 30 fury and then using it instantly lets you get off an empowered ability which will catch your enemy off guard. Team fighting on Renekton, especially late into the game, is really difficult because of how hard you fall off. You'll want to look for skirmishes on this champ as that's where he succeeds most. You can also split push pretty well even later on into the game because of your Spear of Shoujin, which lets you get off multiple skill rotations within a short period of time. If you do get into a team fight, usually you'll want to dive their squishy and try to burst them. You can also work as a traditional frontliner, but you won't be as strong as other champions like Cho'Gath or Scion in that role. Thanks for watching the guide. If you want more guides and videos like this, subscribe to the Feelin' Gaming YouTube channel. If you want to keep up with me, follow me on Twitter at PHL underscore Moo. Also make sure to watch Feelin' Gaming Play in the UKLC every Wednesday starting at 6pm GMT. See you guys next time!